Good morning, Dr. Lou Jacobs coming to you on Monday morning from the beautiful city of Portland, Maine. All the reports are showing us getting snow today at around 10 o'clock. Now it's currently 7 a.m. and I'm already seeing people getting prepared for what should be a moderate snowfall. When you know that something is coming, when you know that there's a storm coming, what do you do? You prepare. Whether it's snow or a hurricane, you board up your windows, you buy sandbags, you stock up on gas, you make sure that you have food in the house, you get ready. We all know that we're gonna get older, and when we do, things are not going to work quite as well as they have in the past, unless we take especially good care of ourselves. Now, if you have the common sense to prepare for a snowstorm or a hurricane, you ought to have the same common sense to prepare for aging, to prepare for a quality of life later on that involves mobility and, and taking part in activities that you love and playing with grandkids or playing with kids, depending on how old you are. Apart from diet, exercise, and the utilization of chiropractic to maintain mobility, stability, and joint neurological health, I can think of no better plan for preparing for aging. It just makes sense. The majority of the problems that we have as we get older are related to diet and movement and ability to move comfortably and stably as we get older. Chiropractic care is a tool that you can utilize on a regular or even consistent basis over long periods of time that will perform exceptionally well for you. It will help you with all of those things, reducing the likelihood of falls due to instability. It'll help reduce inflammation. It'll help loosen up muscles. It'll help mobilize and position the spine in such a way that it functions much better. And most importantly, it will take pressure off of your nervous system, which is the master controller of your body. And when pressurized and interfered with, it doesn't allow you to heal and function at your optimal level. We're talking great stuff here today on a beautiful Monday morning. Whoever said I hate Mondays, this is the beginning of a fantastic work week. Thanks so much for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.